Good day, and uh, I hope that you're all having fun in uh, YouTube land. My name is Nick, I'm the Reman of YouTube, and uh, well, I'm known as TDC Moncton. I just needed to leave this little video response to your cast, crew, and the whole Imaginarium that actually holds the background for the Muppets, because, well, Muppets are a staple from my childhood. Uh, because they were in syndication at that time, and they came back with Muppets Tonight, and then we unfortunately lost Jim Henson somewhere along those lines due to do a double pneumonia but be that as it may uh, I have to ask how did you ever come up to to, to the, with a plan to actually do these particular uh, bloopers for the Muppets was it in, in the actual not post-production but when you were doing your brainstorming going hey we could actually do this because I know depending on what it is if it's animation in some cases they'll actually predetermine the actual bloopers and animate them accordingly um, in some cases it's just the voice actors actually having fun in this case it was actually done to a um, very nifty tune which I've heard too often in my childhood growing up with uh, specific oldies but goodies radio stations in the area well that said unfortunately I am uh, ashamed of saying that I did not watch it this year I'll have to catch it when it comes out next year again on TVs but the best Christmas uh, special that the Muppets have ever done that I've enjoyed ever since I've been watching it is the Muppets Christmas Carol and if it's not the Muppets Christmas Carol it's the one with John Denver uh, with um, Christmas in the, at uh, Fozzie's mom's place or Fozzie's grandmother's place my pardon my memory it's a little bit Fozzie yes I know it's a bad one okay I'm sorry but folks you deserve this in so many ways I think that you've done more than your share in regards to keeping the Muppets alive Here's your image of the Jokey Smurf Award in regards to giving us such fun entertainment in small prizes and also giving us a chance to seeing what you guys have cooking. No pun intended with the, uh, the Cat Cora cooking uh, extravaganza that's going to be coming sometime soon. Hopefully it's going to be available in Canada and without going into specialty shows. It would be nice to actually see it and see exactly what they have to do because I've seen so many cooking shows in my lifetime this one will probably be the penultimate one to make Gordon Ramsay's Hell Kitchen look like child's play except there's not going to be any foul language in this one so can't wait to see it have a nice one